If you're new to Premiere Elements or you're still trying to learn where all the tools are, guided edits can be very, very helpful. Now, guided edits are going to walk you through a number of the processes step by step, showing you every tool you use and then showing you how to use it. They're great hands-on ways to learn the program. And the library, by the way, for the guided edits has been completely redesigned here in version 15. We'll take a look at it in just a moment. But first, uh, I want to show you a little trick here on the timeline. My CTI, my playhead is in the middle of my clip. To get to the beginning or the end of the clip, I can just use end on the keyboard. Click on that to go to the end, home to get to the beginning. I want it to be at the beginning of my clip for this particular project. Let's go to guided edits. Guided edits are available in quick view and in expert view. And if we select it, you can see there are some basic edits like how to get started with a project, how to split and trim clips or add transitions, video adjustments for adding color pop or adjusting your video, audio adjustments, and then finally, fun edits, my favorite. So why don't we select how to create a picture in picture? Click on that and as you can see, a little box is going to pop up with instructions and walk us through the process. So let's select next here. And it says first move the CTI, the playhead, to where we want our effect to begin, which in this case is going to be right at the beginning of the clip, which is why I press the home key. Now it says go to project assets and drag a clip from there. You can also use a little shortcut here if you want to grab a media clip from off your hard drive. I happen to have the one I need right here in project assets. So I'm just going to drag it onto the monitor, not onto the timeline, drag it onto the monitor where the yellow arrow is. And when I let go, notice that there are options, including picture in picture. So let's select that. Hey, there it is. And then we can trim this on the timeline. So it's the same length as the video underneath it. And then click next. And it says, adjust the position. I'll put it over here toward the upper left. We can also adjust the size by grabbing on the corner handles. I better hold down the shift key when I do that to constrain its aspect ratio. Click next. Oh, that's exactly what it's saying to do. <laughs> hold down the shift key and drag it. I anticipated, didn't I? There we go. And then next, and it says we're done. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So if I press the space bar on my computer or click on the little play button here, get the same thing. So let's press the space bar. And there we've got our video with a picture in picture. Very simple to create. Like I say, there are a lot of great effects in here. Some simple, some more advanced. And guided edits are a great way to get familiar with the program and get familiar with how to create some of these effects. It's a feature you may quickly outgrow as you get more familiar with the program and its tools. But if you need a little help just finding your way around, it's like having your own personal trainer. <laughs> built right into the program.